Today's video is War, We Are Right. Someone asked me a question recently regarding war and peace. I thought I would share my answer because I know a lot of people contemplate and struggle with war. What I'm offering is a radical change in view, in consciousness, and in your experience. First, let me ask you a few questions. Number one, do you think every individual that is on the planet is here for the exact same reason? Number two, can you make anyone get or quit something when they are not ready? Now don't get yourself all distracted by contemplating these questions. Just simply answer yes or no. When you were a child, did you listen to your parents' hard-earned advice all the time, or did you have to make your own mistakes, even some that were exactly like your parents? Any loving parent would want to save their children from having to learn the hard way. However, it's exactly how we learn, by sticking our finger in the light socket, touching the fire, and banging our head against the wall. Don't you think God, insert your favorite name here, would like the same thing for us, not to have to learn the hard way? Of course, but God consciousness is more expanded than our current level. God knows what we need. Most of us have awakened to some degree, but we are still groggy. Half asleep is only slightly better than fast asleep. Groggy beings have their own set of problems in reality out there. Groggy people are in between the dream and fully awake states. They try to operate while in both. Like I mentioned in my Kali video, a war on anything doesn't work. A war on drugs, a war on literacy, a war on poverty, and even a war on war. In the old fast asleep consciousness, struggling was par for the course, par for consciousness, because problems like war were seen as being out there. However, in the awakening consciousness, concepts like quantum physics come to the forefront, or our four brains, and we wake up to the fact that our thoughts move, morph, and solidify multiple potentiality waves into finite particle realities. Our thoughts reflect into the field, causing vibrations, and we have a reality. That's the process. We create that from inside, not the other way around, not the outside affecting us. To look at in the world and think it needs saving, is to be asleep or groggy at best. I used to hear everyone and everything is perfect the way it is. I would roll my eyes and think, whatever. As I stand up from my groggy mental position sitting on the side of my bed, sleeping consciousness, I stretch. New blood, new energy, and consciousness begin to flow through my mind and body. It is absolutely perfect. There is a very complex plan at play, and it is impossible to see or understand it while fast asleep and difficult at best to see it when groggy or half awake. Hell, I've made things worse at times trying to fix someone or something that didn't need fixing or wasn't ready. I put pressure on them and myself. I blew my pancreas out by living by the motto of feed others first and, den and deny sweet things in my own life. If God wanted everyone fully awake or aware, we would have been born that way. That must mean that there is a need for everything we, uh, we have and are going through. We have to go through it. If you want complete peace in the world, you have to be willing to give up your free will because that is what you will be asking everyone else to do. I know I'm here to develop my will in this arena, this hologram, this game board, this matrix, this playing field, whatever you want to call it, reality. Why would God give us free will and then want us to surrender it right back? That concept has come from many a groggy people for thousands of years. If you want peace, live it, embody it to the point that it is in everything you think, say, and do. You will, recreate, you will create an attractor field from being focused like this, and you will awaken others to the possibility within their own lives. I recently awakened to the fact that I took on a bodhisattva vow a long time ago that I made in a groggy state at best. I now know I can't save anyone unless they are ready, and my vow said I had to wait on my own complete awakening until everyone else gets it. If that is the case, I'm screwed. I'll be here forever. New souls are coming in all the time. What better way to get trapped in an old game as you're moving out of it? The Bodhisattva vow sounds groovy and spiritual, but if you really get quantum physics and consciousness, it is just one more mind trip to play and get stuck in, spinning dizzily on the will of birth and death. Remember, we create our reality based on our consciousness. The best thing you can do for yourself and the collective, humanity as a whole, is to set yourself free. Be fully in the moment and be, feel, live, love, say, visualize and think with conscious awareness. It is the only way out of the hamster wheel of limited consciousness and limited life. 
More than likely, you ain't taking anyone with you, or at least many. However, if you do these three things, you will plant many seeds, like Buddha, Yeshua, and many others. Those seeds are still producing long after their complete transformation. If those guys didn't save the whole planet, I know I'm not supposed to. Their message only reaches those that were ready, just like this message I'm writing. This will hit some between the eyes, and others won't be able to take it in at all. I know, I now know for the first time with 100% clarity who I am and what I'm to do. I have no more questions, no need to read one more book or find some secret I'm missing. I'm done with that part. The next phase for me is to completely live it, embody it, and without trying it, I will plant many seeds. I just had an internal aha. As a child, one of my favorite books was Johnny Appleseed. Some of you have seen my class workbooks. My logo is a guy holding a bag, broadcasting, scars, broadcasting stars. Below, it is the, the term John E. Starseed. Very cool. I just got something on a very deep level. Uh, man, I love consciousness. It is so playful. And here you can see my logo that I created a couple of years ago. And I just got this when I was writing this in, in response to that question. It clicked in my head. I didn't even realize it that you know things come around full circle. That consciousness that you latch on to comes around. And, uh, you know, the thing is, don't try to plant seeds. If you live your life, it happens automatically. Anyway, at this point, you should have gotten what you needed from this writing. That is, if you needed anything from it at all. It is not my job to make anyone get it. Hell, I can't. When people are ready, th then they are ready. Don't beat yourself up. It isn't your job to save the world. It's perfectly screwed up. Just do you. Find out who you are and live that essence and you will touch people's lives. But don't try to touch others or you move back into groggy land. Be fully in the moment in complete conscious awareness and always come from your heart. Anything else is somewhere between a sleep, a dead life, and groggy, half alive, a zombie life. You can do it. You just have to start doing it. I honor that place in you where when you are in that place in you and I am in that place in me, we are one. We are made of the same star stuff. We breathe the same air, walk the same earth, and drink the same water. Namaste.